Gas prices are on the rise for the fourth straight week here in Colorado during a time of year when we don't typically see increases. And with no relief in immediate sight, experts are warning drivers, buckle up. AAA reports Colorado gas prices averaging right now $3.90 a gallon. That's nearly a dollar higher than this time last month. That's still a dollar less than the peak of last summer, but little consolation for those already struggling with rising costs. Denver 7's Danielle Kreuter is joining us live here in the studio asking experts why prices are rising now and where we might go from here, Danielle. And AAA describes it as a perfect storm of sorts, they say because of several factors. Unfortunately, drivers may have to start getting used to paying around these types of prices for a while. If you noticed a sharp spike in gas prices recently, it's not just you. We know that over the past month, prices have jumped at a nationwide level about 30 cents. Of course, in the same period, they have jumped a dollar in Colorado. That's a noticeable difference. We found spots around Denver charging up to 419 per gallon. GasBuddy.com puts Colorado as one of the states with the highest gas prices in the country. We've also repeatedly been in the top 10 markets. Last week, we were the eighth most expensive price uh, at an average level. Now we're the fifth. Uh, let's hope that doesn't climb any further. According to AAA, the reason is a combination of things, the usual factors, demand and the economy. But also right now, Colorado is taking a major hit. The Suncor refinery outside of Commerce City, which supplies about 35 to 40 percent of all the refined gas that we use as a state, is down. It's going to continue to be down until March. How quickly prices have risen nationwide and how quickly they're rising in Colorado is almost entirely attributable to the fact that we lost a lot of our supply here in the state and it just costs more to truck, train, and pipeline fuel into Colorado, then refine it on site. A series of safety concerns prompted the shutdown. The company tells us they are repairing those and are on track for a March opening date, but that timing might not offer much relief for drivers. That's the time of the year, generally, when we start to see gas prices tick up anyway because of seasonal demands. Uh, it is uh, in the springtime when folks go on spring vacation into the summer months. Not the best news at a time when it feels like almost everything is getting more expensive. Some things you can do combine trips, carpool or consider taking public transportation once a week. Now, as soon as the refinery shut down at the end of December, Governor Jared Polis renewed a disaster emergency because of the impacts to the fuel supply chain. Now that allowed fuel trucks to carry heavier loads, which would allow more gas to be transported with fewer trucks on the road. That, though, is set to expire at the end of this month. Back to you. All right, Danielle, thank you. And going in depth now, Colorado isn't the only state feeling the pain at the pump. States highlighted in red here are all above the national average. This is according to AAA. Only California, Hawaii, Nevada, and Washington State are above Colorado's average. And beyond refinery problems, oil demand is creeping up. Now, oil markets are no longer receiving boosts from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Now, over the summer, the Biden administration started releasing supply to bring gasoline prices down. But now they have shifted from releasing the stockpile to refilling it again. And looking closer, oil prices jumped to roughly $82 a barrel in January, 16% higher than December's low of $71 per barrel. And as prices continue to rise, another oil company is reporting record profits for 2022. This time it's Shell. The British company made almost $42 billion in profit for the year 2022. And over the past week, the big three oil producers, Exxon, Chevron and Shell, reported $132 billion in total profit last year. Now, critics say some of those profits should be passed on to consumers in the form of lower gas and energy prices.